Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about multiple windings transformer design. Multiple windings, let, let me say flyback transformer design. Okay. So in this application, you can see we have three windings. Okay. So the first winding is called let's say L1, second is L2 and the third one is L3. Okay. So this is also called primary winding and then we have two secondary winding which gives you output out one and this gives you the output out two okay so this is basically if you see the dot convention here dot polarity here so you can see dot is here in the primary winding and in the secondary winding you can see dot is uh, here okay so both dot is out of phase that means your input whatever you, your input is, your output will be completely out of phase. Okay, completely out of phase. So I will, I will run the simulation. I will show you how, how these input signals and output signals looks like. Okay, but before I run the simulation, let us understand how I have designed these circuits. Okay, so it is very important to understand how this circuit works and how your input voltage is being amplified or how your what is the turns ratio and how you will design your your circuit by using a lt spice tool okay so you can see at the input so you can see the on voltage is 1 volt rise time 10 nanosecond fall time 10 nanosecond t on 5 microsecond t period 10 microsecond right so this is around 100 kilohertz so i am i am exciting this transformer this inductor with the frequency of 100 kilohertz then i have connected one series resistance which could be the winding resistance or parasitic resistance and you can see the value of this l1 is 100 micro henry so this is the primary winding at out one this is the secondary winding we have the inductance value of 400 micro henry at out two we have the inductance value of 400 micro henry so if you want to calculate the turns ratio of this uh, this transformer how will you calculate so the turns ratio is given by square root of l1 divided by l2 or square root of l1 divided by l3 if you calculate this turns ratio you will get your primary turn is 1 that and your secondary turn is 2 so your turns ratio is 1 is to 2 that means the turns ratio between l1 and l2 is 1 is to 2 the turns ratio between l1 so the turns ratio between l1 and l3 is also 1 is to 2 that means if your input voltage is here 1 volt you will get 2 volt at output let me let me show you when i'll run the simulation okay so this is let us assume is out one this is out two and we have this is very important syntax you need to write otherwise your simulation won't work so this as i said flyback transformer is is not a basically a transformer it's a coupled inductor okay so there is a inductor which is coupled between both bindings okay so there is a coupling factor which coupled this inductor so let us assume the coupling factor k1 between l1 l2 and l3 is given by 0 0.99 that means if the coupling factor here is 1 that means there is a no leakage inductance in the winding of your transformer if the coupling factor is 0 point practically there should be some leakage inductance so for this simulation i kept the coupling factor is 0 0.99 okay now let me run the simulation directly the transient analysis and i'll show you the waveform so this is the input voltage so you can see this is the input then i'll show you the out one and then i'll show you the out two okay so this is the input voltage let me show you the frequency excited frequency excitation frequency it's around 100 kilohertz you can see here and you can see 
V out 1 and V out 2. In the V out 1, you can see your voltage swings between here from here 1.2 volt to you can see here somewhere it's it's 0.7 volt. That means you have around 2 volt swing. If you add 1.2 plus 0.7, you you will get closer to 2 volt and for this V out 2. So that means your input voltage is sign here is to one, 1 volt and since your turns ratio is 1 is to 2 the output voltage is being amplified with the turns ratio of 2 so your input is 1 your output is 2 right so guys i hope you you have understood the concept for multiple binding transformer simulation in lt spice how will you simulate your multiple binding transformer in lt spice if you have any further question Feel free to ask me in comment section. Thanks for watching this video.